finding discounts this is a situation we're often faced with when we go to the store and we see uh, everything's 30% off or 25% off or whatever it's very important to be able to figure out exactly what amount you're gonna pay or how much you're gonna save just to make sure that uh, the pricing that you receive is correct so to figure out the discounts what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our original price and multiply it by the discount as a decimal now remember to change a percent into a decimal what we need to do is move the decimal point two places to the left so for changing a percent into a decimal we move the decimal point two places to the left so in this 30 percent the decimal point is after the last zero here so we're gonna go two spots to the left so it'll be one two so it'll be 0.3. So we're going to multiply 49.50 by 0.3 or 0 0.30. Same thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and that. We've got 49.5 times 0.3 gives us 14.85. Okay, is that the amount we're going to pay? No, that's the amount we're going to save. So to figure out what price we're going to pay, we're going to have to take our original price and subtract that discount amount. So we have 4950 minus 1485 and let's see what that gives us. 4950 minus 1485 is 3465 okay that took us two steps but the price that we would pay if something was originally priced at 4950 and it was 30 percent off we'd pay 3465 that's a two-step method now we can make that into one step if we think about this a little bit and what we did in this problem what we did was multiply the original price by 0.3 and then we subtracted that amount from the original price well what we can do instead is think about the original price in terms of a percent the original price is really a hundred percent and what we're doing is we're subtracting thirty percent of it so we have a hundred percent and we're subtracting thirty percent how many percent are we left with? We're left with 70%. So what we can do, rather than finding 30% and then subtracting, we could just find 70% and that will be our answer. So let's take a look at this and just see if it works. So we're going to take 49.50 and we're going to find 70% of it, of suggest multiplication. So we're going to take it times 0.7 or 0.70, same thing. And we multiply, so 49.50 times 0.7 gives us, sure enough, 34.65. So if we use that fact and we subtract the percent from 100% and we find this percent, then we don't have to do anything. It's just a one-step process. So let's take a look here at this next one and we'll try doing it the one step way. The original price is 1348.35, discount of 25%. Okay. If we have a discount of 25%, that means that how much of the price are we paying? Well, there's a hundred percent as the original price, and we're taking off 25% of the price that means we're gonna pay 75 percent of the price so we need to find 75 percent of this amount right here so we're gonna multiply 1348 35 times that 75 percent is a decimal which would be 0.75 two spots to the left remember we go ahead and multiply that 1348 35 times 0.75 gives us 
10, 11, 26, 25. Okay. Now, when we're talking about money, we usually round to two decimal places because that's the way our money works. It's in cents. And we look here, the 6, the next spot over is a 2. That's less, less than 5. So we're going to go ahead and drop that part off. And our answer, the amount that we're going to pay, is $1,000. Eleven dollars and twenty-six cents. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one. 1989 is the original price. We're getting a 15% discount. How much are we looking for then? Well, we have a hundred percent is the original price. We're taking off 15%. So we're trying to find 85% of this 1989. So let's go ahead and do that. 1989 times 0.85, because this percent is a decimal, two spots over. We get 0.85, and we multiply 1989 times 0.85 gives us 1690. 0.65. Okay, we look to round. We're going to round to two decimal places. We look to the right of this zero. That's a six. Six is bigger than five, so that means that zero has to become a one. And we get $16.91. All right, let's try one more here. 60% discount. So. That means how many percent do we want to find? You might be able to do this in your head, but I'll write it out just because. 100% minus 60% is 40%. So we're going to pay 40% of this price. So we need to go ahead and multiply. 189.90 times 40% as a decimal is 0.4. Grab our calculator. 189.9 times 0.4. 7596 dollars 96 That's how much we'll pay on this price when it's 60% off. Again, to find discounts, we can do it a two-step or a one-step method. If we do the two-step, we just find the discount by multiplying by the percent as a decimal. Remember to change that. You move it two spots to the left. Go ahead and multiply that. Then you subtract that amount. That's not how much you're going to pay. That's how much you're going to save. Subtract that from the original amount. That gives you your sale price. Or if you want to do it in one step, you can subtract the percent from 100. That'll tell you how many percent you're going to pay. Multiply that percent as a decimal by the original price and then out comes your sale price right away. Either method works, whichever one you like is just fine.